Well, hello! It's Daisy from the Only Line Designs. I have no idea where that came from. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If you don't like this opening, don't do it. But you can if you want. It's right there. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. I swear I'm not a drunk. I don't even drink. I do this all on my own. Um, I have the tray. It is ready for, what do you call it, resin. I knew what it, I knew what it was. Just wouldn't come to my little headache brain. I got a headache. I was a little headache. But part of my headache is this tray. So I want to get it done. Um, Y'all. I'm so nervous about this because I've never done a tabletop or anything like that yet. Or a flat surface that needs to have no bubbles and none of that stuff. So... I'm nervous. I can't light a flame in here. Um, I also had an issue with making sure my surface was level because my surface has a lot of paint and other stuff on it and it was not level. So I have lifted it up. I've leveled it out and it's now sitting on my, my work surface, which you can't see. You'll see it in a minute. It'll, I promise. Um, but I am worried about, um, bubbles. From what I know, you gotta like take a lighter and blah, 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 and do that stuff. And it's like, okay, I'm freaking out, freaking out just a little bit. We're going to do it. I'm still freaking out. I have doubts like everyone. I'm human. I can do that. I could have doubts. So I, I'm just worried a little bit. I went to Dollar Tree today to pick up like Easter basket filler and stuff for Victoria. And I was going to get cups to mix in. <laughs> I got the cups. I also went to Target and spent almost $200 because I needed paper towel. There's some kind of drug in the air at Target. Um, but I went into Target and then I, I'm like, I need to get paper towels. So I got to go into Target. Let's see. Hair gloss for the kid. Um, primer for me because y'all said the makeup would stay put if I got primer, right? So I got primer and like my nephew Easter basket -y stuff and you know, ugh, 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 I went a little crazy. a little bit crazy at Target and I decided to pick up a few things to fill Victoria's Easter basket and <sighs> she's got more expensive as she's gotten older but I digress I forgot the cups I'm go about to go out in the other room and see if I can find something to mix this resin in because I forgot the cups and I don't want to have to go to the store again because I cannot be trusted in the store. I'm broke now. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna go find cups. Yo! I turned around and there were cups. I forgot I had gone to Dollar Tree once before and got cups. Ah. Yay me! Oh, I'm so happy. I want a clean cup. That one, that top one had dog hair in it. Well, that can stay the dirty cup. See, it's dirty. We don't want that one. Now I'm going to go get the lighter, but I got cups. I'm also going to grab my... This is not... You don't want this. My spray, my spray box can probably go away now. I have a mess back here. Um, my skull... So there's still a little room left to fill the skull. I've been like, if I have extra resin left over, I've been filling the skull. So I have that and I have my bird ready to go. Not that anybody's buying the bird. I sold one bird. One bird. I should take them to Vintage Junkie. I haven't done that yet. 
So part of me thinks like I'm just going to go to vintage or pick it this weekend and like wholesale clear them out and take them to vintage junkie. Cause I think they just, it's a better match as far as clients go. Like they like the handmade unique and they'll pay for it. Not like the cheapos that they pick it. But anyway, I'm going to put these back here. So I have them and uh, let me go get the lighter. I'm light my room on fire, but we got to be careful playing with this in this room. There is a lot of flammable stuff in this room. Okay. So we be very careful. Very careful. All right. I'm going to hold on to that. Get the resin mixed up. Get you guys flipped around and pray to the gods of DIY because I don't want to keep this tray. I don't want to keep the tray. Yeah, everybody pray. All right, I have A and B measured out now in equal parts. I apparently did not stop recording, so fantastic. Um, I'm just going to pour B into A. I will have more than enough resin and hardener in here. Mm Do I have enough? I have no idea. I don't know, guys. I don't know. 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 We're going to find out. Nope. Oh, it looks pretty though. We need more resin. Quickly. Okay. Okay, we're covered. Let's see if we can get it to level out here.
It's supposed to be self-leveling, but, you know, I don't trust anything. All right. No, well, that's working. Damn it. Don't touch the resin, Stacey. Don't touch. Keep touching the resin. Okay, we're going to let it dry. But it's super pretty. Can you see how reflective it is? You can see my camera rig. You can see my lighting up there. You can see my ceiling. <laughs> That's awesome. It's very reflective. I think it's going to turn out. At least the fish look really good in there right now from where I'm sitting. I don't know. Do we do this as bubbles come up? I don't know. Feels like they're coming up more and more and more 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 more. I'm super happy with this right now. I think it's gonna turn out nice. All right, I'm going to let it sit and I'll come back and look at it in a bit. Guys, it's looking really good. I desperately want to touch it to see if it's set, but I know it's not. So we're just going to leave it for a few more hours. <laughs> it looks so good. We did a thing. We did a thing. <laughs> it looks great. I know the lights are reflecting off of it and all that stuff. It is still sticky as I'll get out. I got to take it out of the cold room and move it into a warm room. Um, I, I had it in the dining room for a little bit to let it cure a little better and it's less sticky now. So it's just, it's very cold in this room. But I am so pleased and I, I'm trying to figure out a way to let you guys see how well it turned out <laughs> without like, like how, how, <laughs> so look how good it is, you guys, it's done. Another doom pile project has been saved. And you know what? I love this one. You know how it wanted to stay with me? It might stay with me for a little while longer. I could not, believe my husband gave me a compliment on it. Y'all, that is not an easy thing to get. <laughs> It's not a, that's not an everyday thing with my projects. My husband's like, uh, uh. he complimented it. He said it was good. He's like, that turned out really nice. I was in heaven. I'm in heaven. You can't see where I repaired the paint. You can't see... 
like remember when I started it had kind of like a little glossier bit around the edge no it's all gone it just looks pretty now like those fish are in water <laughs> It looks so good. I'm so happy. And and I did the whole lighter thing and the bubbles went away. <laughs> I'm just so glad. First of all, this one was a pain in the butt. So when it's that much of a process where everything's kind of going wrong and you're like, okay, the other... Shouldn't, it shouldn't be this hard. I'm really happy when, when it gets done. Sometimes the ones you struggle with the most are the ones that in the end you're the most happy with because you know what it took to get there, right? I know what it took to get here and now I want to keep it. <laughs> Love the gloss. Love it. And I love how they look like they're just floating in there now. Even the repaired paint job looks amazing under here. I'm so happy, you guys. This is one more doom pile off the project list. Um, I don't know that it's going to get a price tag. I have not decided to let it go yet. I like it. Do I have another tray? Maybe I could do a different one. But I really like this one. I think I might have to keep it for a minute. <coughs> I don't keep them forever, but for, you know, a little bit of time, I need to be able to look at them. And I think this is going to be one of them. I made a thing. We did a thing, you guys. We came back. We would not be defeated. <sighs> Feels good. I gotta remember, don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it. And I'm trying not to let things land on it, like dust bits, because it's still sticky. And I wanna just make sure it gets, it gets a chance to cure and look really nice. I'm gonna put it in the dining room where it's warmer. Just let it do its thing, but it is solid. I'm so excited. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with me through this project. It was kind of a pain in the butt. I didn't anticipate it being, what, three videos deep? Oh, y'all. Some days I would, I'm ready to put things on the burn pile, but I'm glad this one got finished because it was a failed project and then a failed project on top of a failed project. So I'm glad it finally has a life. It's actually now something that I wouldn't mind selling. I mean, I wouldn't mind putting a price tag on it and moving in on its merry little way. But the other one, there was no way. So now I feel like it's beautiful now. Pretty. A little tattoo art. <laughs> Look how reflective it is. Love it. Just love it. It's very pretty. All right, you guys, that's my project for today. Thanks for watching. Happy junkin'. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more junkin' videos.